welcome to our new video. In our previous lesson, we described motion in terms of distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration. Now, in order to describe the motion of a given object, you need to know its position. When you know the point of reference, you will be able to determine how far the object has traveled, how fast it is moving, and the direction to where it is moving. Now, with the help of visual representations like diagrams, you can easily describe the position of an object. And aside from diagrams, another way of describing the motion of an object is through the use of motion graphs. For today's lesson, we will illustrate motion through the use of position time graphs. But before we go further, allow me to share with you our learning target. First, we're going to describe motion using a position time graph. Second, we're going to determine the x and y axis of a motion graph. Then, I am going to teach you how to plot points that shows the motion of an object moving in a constant and changing speed or velocity. Now, what is position time graph? A position time graph shows how far some things travel over a period of time. It is the representation of speed or velocity when we indicate the direction of the moving object. Now, let us have an example. Consider a man standing at 10 meter position for 5 seconds. Now, let us put it on a position time graph. The first step, you need to put your data on a table. Then, for the second step, we're going to plot the values as points on the graph. In this type of graph, time is always plotted on the x-axis and the position is plotted on the y-axis. So let us start plotting each value. Based on the data, starting 0 second up to 5 seconds, the man is standing at 10 meter. For the third step, draw a straight line through the points in your graph. Using this graph, you can describe the motion of the man. The graph shows stationary motion and it happens when an object is stationary or not moving, meaning it has a zero velocity. Let us have another example. A man walks 4 meters east for 4 seconds. Based on what we have discussed in our previous lesson, the speed of the man is 1 meter per second. But the question is, does the man change his speed while walking? Now let us put it on a graph. Again, the first thing you need to do is to put your data on the table. Second, we're going to plot the values as a point on the graph. So let us start plotting each value. The first point is at 0 meter and 0 second. Then the next one is 1 meter and 1 second. Then 2 meters and 2 seconds then 3 meters and 3 seconds. And for the last point, we have 4 meter and 4 seconds. For the third step, we need to draw a straight line through the points in our graph. Using this graph, we can describe the motion of the man. The position time graph shows a straight line diagonal, which means that the motion of the man is constant rightward, meaning the velocity is positive 1 meter per second. Now let us have another example. A car moving to the right and considering its direction in the diagram, the car starts at 160 meter towards 0 meter position. Now to start, let us put all the data on the table. Then we're going to plot the values as points on the graph. The first point is at 160 meter when the car is at rest, meaning at 0 second. Then after 1 second, the car is at 120 meters. Then after 2 seconds, the car is at 80 meters. After 3 seconds, the car is at 40 meters. And after 4 seconds, the car is at 0 meter. And the third step, we're going to draw a straight line through the points in your graph. Using this graph, you can describe the motion of the man. The graph shows a straight diagonal line which means the car has a constant speed but in a negative direction which means that the car is moving towards the starting point which is 0 meter. Now we're done with the position time graph of a constant speed or constant velocity. 
And now we're going to focus on position time graph of the change in speed. Let us have an example. A car starts from rest. Then after one second, it moves at two meter. Then after two seconds, it is at eight meters. Then after three seconds, it is at 18 meters. And after four seconds, it is already at 32 meters. Upon looking at the diagram, we can already say that the car is not in a constant motion. Now, let us put it on a graph. Again, the first step is to put all the data on a table. Now, we're going to plot the values as points on the graph. So, let us start plotting each point or each value. A car starts from rest, meaning the car is at 0 meter and 0 second. Then after 1 second, it moves at 2 meter. Then after 2 seconds, it is at 8 meter. Then after 3 seconds, it is at 18 meters. And after 4 seconds, it is already at 32 meters. Then we're gonna draw a straight line to the points in your graph. Now using this graph, you can describe the motion of the car. As you can see, when the speed changes, the position time graph also changes. It shows that the car speeds up. Therefore, the graph of an object moving with a change in speed has a curved line in position time graph, just like the graph of the car as it speeds up. Now, for us to better understand the position time graph, we also need to understand the meaning of slope. Now, what is a slope? The slope is the slant or angle of the line in the graph. The shape of the line on the graph, whether straight, curved, or steeply slope, has different interpretations of the motion of the object. In mathematics, the slope of a line is the rise over the run, or the change in y divided by change in x. So if you pick two points on a line, for example, x sub 1 and y sub 1, and x sub 2 and y sub 2, the slope of the line is calculated by subtracting the value of y coordinates and the x coordinates. Then, divide the difference of the y coordinates by the difference of the x coordinates. So, the equation for the slope is change in y divided by change in x or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The slope of the line reveals useful information about the motion of the object. For instance, in our first example, where the man is stationary or not moving, it creates a straight horizontal line. When we apply the rise over run, the slope of a horizontal line will always be equal to zero. Since a horizontal line has an unchanging y value, meaning the position does not change, the rise is equal to zero no matter what the run is. Why? Because y sub 2 and y sub 1 are both 10 meters. And based on what we have discussed a while ago, the formula of slope is change in y divided by change in x. So, therefore, 10 meter minus 10 meter is equals to 0. Then, we're going to divide it to 2 seconds minus 1 seconds is equals to 1. So, therefore, 0 divided by 1 is 0. The value of the slope is 0, meaning the velocity or the speed is 0. Simply because the man is just standing and not moving. On our second example a while ago, where the line slants up from left to right that has a constant and positive slope, when we apply the rise over run here, we can easily get the velocity using the equation of slope. So we're gonna get the velocity of the first two points here. The y sub 2 here is 1 meter and the y sub 1 here is 0 meter. And the x sub 2 here is 1 second, x sub 1 is 0 second. So to compute, 1 meter minus 0 meter is equal to 1 meter, and 1 second minus 0 second is equal to 1 second. So 1 meter divided by 1 second is equal to 1 meter per second. Therefore, the velocity of the first two point here is 1 meter per second. Now, to prove that this graph has a constant velocity, 
we're gonna compute each line. So we're gonna proceed to the next two points. Y sub 2 here is 2 meter and Y sub 1 is 1 meter. X sub 2 is 2 seconds. X sub 1 is 1 second. So to compute, 2 meter minus 1 meter is equals to 1 meter. And 2 second minus 1 second is equal to 1 second. So 1 meter divided by 1 second is 1 meter per second. For the next two points, Y sub 2 here is 3 meter. Y sub 1 is 2 meter. X sub 2 is 3 seconds. X sub 1 is 2 seconds. So to compute, 3 meter minus 2 meter is 1 meter. 3 seconds minus 2 second is 1 second. So 1 meter divided by 1 second is equals to 1 meter per second. And for the last two points, Y sub 2 here is 4 meter. Y sub 1 is 3 meter. X sub 2 is 3 seconds. X sub 1 is 2 seconds. Therefore, 4 meters minus 3 meters is equal to 1 meter. And 4 seconds minus 3 seconds is equal to 1 second. 1 meter divided by 1 second is 1 meter per second. So as you can see, this graph has a constant speed or velocity or a constant and positive slope. And in our third example a while ago, which is a line that slants down from left to right, has a constant and negative slope. Again, we can apply the rise over run here to get the velocity and for us to know why it is a negative slope. So using the equation of slope, we're gonna get the velocity of the first two point here. For the first two point, the y sub 2 here is 120 meters, the y sub 1 is 160 meters, x sub 2 is 1 second, x sub 1 is 0 second. So therefore, 120 meters minus 160 meters is equal to negative 40 meters. And 1 second minus 0 second is equal to 1 second. So negative 40 divided by 1 second is equal to negative 40 meter per second. So the velocity is negative 40 meter per second. Now to prove that this is a constant negative slope, we're gonna compute each line. The next two point, the y sub 2 is 80 meter, y sub 1 is 120 meter, and x sub 2 is 2 seconds, x sub 1 is 1 second. Therefore, 80 meter minus 120 meter is equal to negative 40 meters. And 2 second minus 1 second is equal to 1 second. So negative 40 divided by 1 second is equal to negative 40 meter per second. And for the next two points, the y sub 2 here is 40 meters, y sub 1 is 80 meters, x sub 2 is 3 seconds, x sub 1 is 2 seconds. So to compute, 40 meters minus 80 meters is equal to negative 40 meters. And 3 seconds minus 2 seconds is equal to 1 second. So negative 40 divided by 1 second is equal to negative 40 meter per second. For the last two points, the y sub 2 here is 0 meter and y sub 1 is 40 meters. X sub 2 is 4 seconds, X sub 1 is 3 seconds. So therefore, 0 meter minus 40 meter is equal to negative 40 meter. And 4 seconds minus 3 seconds is equal to 1 second. So negative 40 meters divided by 1 second is equal to negative 40 meter per second. Therefore, as you can see, this graph has a constant negative velocity or a constant negative slope. Now to prove that the velocity of this graph is not in a constant motion, we can apply the rise over run here. So we're going to compute the first two points of this graph. The y sub 2 here is 2 meter, y sub 1 is 0 meter, x sub 2 is 1 second, while x sub 1 is 0 second. So therefore, 2 meters minus 0 meter is equal to 2 meter, and 1 second minus 0 second is equal to 1 second. So 2 meters divided by 1 second is equal to 2 meter per second. So the velocity of the first two points is 2 meter per second. 
Next, we're gonna compute the next two points. Y sub 2 here is 8 meters. Y sub 1 is 2 meters. And x sub 2 is 2 seconds. x sub 1 is 1 second. So therefore, 8 meters minus 2 meters is equal to 6 meters. And 2 seconds minus 1 second is equal to 1 second. So 6 meters divided by 1 second is equal to 6 meters per second. So therefore, the velocity of the second two points is 6 meters per second. Next, we're gonna compute the third two points. Y sub 2 here is 18 meters, Y sub 1 is 8 meters, and X sub 2 is 3 seconds, X sub 1 is 2 seconds. So therefore, 18 meters minus 8 meters is equal to 10 meters. And 3 seconds minus 2 seconds is equal to 1 second. So therefore, 10 meters divided by 1 second is 10 meters per second. So the velocity of the third two points is 10 meters per second. Then for the last two points, the y sub 2 here is 32 meters and y sub 1 here is 18 meters. x sub 2 is 4 seconds, x sub 1 is 3 seconds. So therefore, 32 meters minus 18 meters is 14 meters. And 4 seconds minus 3 seconds is 1 second. So 14 meters divided by 1 second is equals to 14 meters per second. Therefore, as you can see, this graph does not have a constant motion, but rather it has a changing velocity. Now, why is it important to learn about the slope of the line on a graph? The principle is that the slope of the line on a position time graph reveals useful information about the velocity of the object. If the velocity is constant, the slope is constant, meaning the slope is in a straight line. If the velocity is changing, the slope is changing, or meaning the slope is curved line. And if the velocity is positive, the slope is positive, meaning moving upwards. And if the velocity is negative, the slope is negative, meaning the slope is moving downwards. The principle of slope can be used to describe the motion of position time graph. For example, I have here two set of position time graph. Which graph shows a faster constant speed? Is it graph A or graph B? Graph B has a larger slope than A, which means the graph B shows a faster constant speed than graph A. It should be noted that a steeper line indicates a larger slope and a less steep line means a smaller slope. In this case, the greater the slope, the steeper the line. that's it see you in our next lesson and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this